Welcome to Learn Biology and we're still discussing evolution. We have not actually gotten to the actual topic of evolution itself but we're building up to it. So today we're discussing theory of acquired characteristics. So what exactly is this? Well it was a theory created by a French evolutionist scientist biologist whose name is Jean-Baptiste Lamarck and he created it he created this theory known as theory of acquired characteristics to explain how parents have an impact on offspring to explain how some traits are passed on from parents to offspring and he is also trying to explain the driving force of nature what impact does nature have on us and simply how do things work in this on this planet so he created this theory of acquired characteristics and it is also known as Lamarckism because of his name Lamarck now what he said is that learned traits can be passed on to offspring if a trait is used a lot then it is passed on so before we go on what is a trait well a trait is simply a feature a feature a trait is a feature in the parent, meaning uh, something good or bad. If a parent is fat, that is a trait. So he's saying that fatness would be a trait. Or if a person is a good athlete, that is a trait. It is a feature in a person. And what he is saying simply is that here we have a giraffe. So he is saying that the first giraffes, the ancestors of this giraffe here, had short necks. And they stretched their necks, they, were, they used their energy and stretched their necks to reach food on trees. And this neck stretching allowed their offspring to have longer necks. And now the constant stretching over the generations so the constant stretching of the neck over the generations allowed the current giraffes to have really long necks and what this is saying that the necks will continue to grow so gradually the neck grew longer and will continue to grow longer because this trait is used but he is also saying that if the giraffes stop using this trait meaning if they stop reaching higher trees then the neck will stop stretching it will remain the same so if a trait is used so if a trait is used it will continue to grow if the trait is not used it will not pass on to the next generation what this means also is that here we have a violinist a good violin player now if this person has a child the child will have the natural ability to be a good violinist he will successfully be a violinist but if this child decides to not be a violinist decides not to be a violinist his child so his child will lose child will lose the trait the trait so here we have the parent then we have the child who is a who will be a natural violinist but if he doesn't practice his violinist skills then the child of the grandchild of the parent simply will lose the trait and now over the years this has caused a lot of controversy because because if a parent does not have a leg let's say we have a parent here with only one leg so one leg and we'll make him frowning so the parent has only one leg and if he has a child he or she has a child the child is still born with two legs how come Lamarckism says that the child should be born with only one leg since traits are acquired 
and are passed on. So many schools throughout the world teach that this theory is not true. This theory is not true. But we cannot fully say that is not true because research is still being conducted to prove this theory, to say whether it is right or wrong. So we honestly cannot disprove it yet because we have no way to say it's wrong because it makes sense that giraffes have longer necks because it slowly became bigger but it doesn't make sense because a child a parent whose leg is amputated will have a child with two legs so this is again the theory of acquired characteristics and it's up to the individual to decide whether this is true or not so thank you for watching learn biology and we'll see you next time